This was a major attack on an important police headquarters. It involved two car bombs, one suicide bomber at the main gate, allowing his fellow fighters to storm through. The Taliban has claimed this as a success against a well-defended base. But the Afghan security forces say they prevented a greater loss of life, killing all the attackers. Fortunately, our special force was ready and killed four of those criminals, plus one of them was killed inside the car bomb. In total, five of them were killed. Afghanistan is experiencing an upsurge in violence with almost daily attacks. The government is waiting for a long overdue announcement from the U.S. military on a new strategy intended to turn around this conflict. We, we are into the sixth month of, of Trump administration, and from what we understand, um, they themselves are lost as well as of what needs to be done. Um, but troops, increasing the troops number, will certainly not solve the problem. U.S. troop numbers are expected to be raised by several thousand, but many in Afghanistan are skeptical about what difference they will make. The last U.S. troop surge under President Obama increased their numbers to more than 100,000 with arguably little lasting effect. If the new strategy is going to make a difference, many believe it will have to include some as yet unthought of formula beyond simply sending more soldiers. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kabul.